Welcome back to my channel and today we are doing January 15th for Capricorns or you can take it as a daily reading for whichever day you are actually watching it. Time is irrelevant. Oops. And I'm doing a one card draw for what is in store for 2020 for you Capricorns or anyone watching. And I'll be doing a one card pull for clarification for oracle cards. So right now, the oracle card tarot is what I'm using for Lucy Cavendish. And I'll be using, let's see, which one do I use? Oops. See, like when I get a whole chunk of cards like this, I just, that doesn't resonate with me to take that. So I usually like to take the one, or if they come out where I can definitely signify like that was one, two, January, February, whatever, I will take it. Um, the oracle cards I'm using now today with us are the Magical Messages from the Fairy Oracle Cards by Birchie, Bir <laughs> Doreen Birchie, sorry. So far we have Nine of Cups for January, which is Relationship Bliss. So when I see that card, I can tell that if you are in a committed relationship, that you are having just the time of your life. Basically, you are running with your heart balloons and you've got your emotional dress on. If you're single, you're trying to attract a relationship. You want a relationship. You want a blissful, happy relationship. Let's see what else is in the store. And then we'll see what the Oracle cards have to say to detail that. Actually, I want to read the book on this one because I'm quite curious. Sometimes reading the book um, just helps to give a little bit more details or something that maybe you didn't think of. So the book says that basically like good times are here. You have a feeling when this card appears that this is a real feeling. So this is like an overflowing love of delight. It's very balanced. So there's absolutely no doubt when this card appears that you are feeling happiness and a lot closer to your true self than you were all the times when you wondered whether it was really worth all the effort. Remember that everything is a process and that this blissful time will change too. We can't always be happy, right? as we can't always be sad either. But don't ever forget how happy it makes you feel at this time and keep this feeling close to you to keep you going through, you know, the tough times when they do come up in life. Remember to share some of the good stuff around you and spread a little of the love that you feel. Everything you send out will increase when it comes back to you. So stay generous in your heart. This could be also, you know, just a, a love for yourself, too. You know, maybe finding a lot of time for yourself in January if you hadn't before. So let's find a tarot card now for February. And there we go. And there's March and April. Got two cards pulled over there. May. March, April, May, we need June. There we go. Let's see if we can get a card for July. Oh, July and August. So 
September. So there's June, July, August, September, right? That emperor seems to keep popping up for Capricorns. The Empress is a very sensual card. It's kind of like all the queens combined. So it's a very queen-like energy. She's very motherly, as it does represent fertility or um, even birth. Could be actual birth that maybe you are pregnant or just pregnant with possibilities. That's in July. A lot of babies in July, too, because of the winter, right? <laughs> so we're looking... Oh, okay. There we go. November and December. All right. So, put this back in the box. And then we'll do the oracle cards. are the magical messages from the fairies. I'm just going to clear the deck by giving a few little shuffles here. Whenever I shuffle cards at my friend's house, their kids always are in awe of how I can bend the cards and make them bridge like that. My grandfather taught me that and it was one of the hardest things I had to keep practicing. My grandfather could actually shuffle the cards like that, like that, and then actually take the cards and just go and they would all come back together and I just was in awe that I could never quite achieve it. He said just keep practicing but I just, I couldn't command the cards like he could. I felt like he was magical. Alright, so let's get a card for January for clarification about relationship bliss. And to tell you in March, I'm sorry, that was January. Did I say February? In January. February you have cash flow. So it looks like you might have some decision to make. As you throw your coins up in the air, to me that signifies like your money could be up in the air, like you're not really sure about your stability. Or you could just be having fun. Maybe you have so much money you're just having fun with it and throwing it up the air, frivolously letting it flow and overspending. In March, you have opportunity, so a lot of financial opportunity. Again, though, there's a question mark, so either a decision to make or you're just not sure about your financial opportunities. In April, you have unfulfilled expectations as far as communication and love. It's a number five, so that tells me that things kind of need to change for you or they are changing. Um, your cups are all stacked, but they're also looking a little bit unbalanced. But you have this little, this little girl here kind of holding on, balanced herself, but looking with her, her hand here holding out for other opportunities. So it could be that you are stable in your stacked cups, but... The actual emotion inside that you're balancing on is not so balanced after all, but you are looking for, you're looking for more, even though you have all your cups stacked, you know, like all your ducks in a row, but you're looking for more because the cups, although they signify communication and love, they look kind of empty. So maybe they're empty cups that are stacked. 
and they're also not uniform they're all different in color um, so um, the green one which is your heart chakra is on your your bottom of your foot which would be your base so it's like your heart chakra is grounding you um, but I would think if they were talking about love they would all be green um, so you have some red and blue here and your hair is green so it's kind of like your feet are grounded by your heart and your hair is like reaching for maybe the impossible maybe the divine but you're definitely looking for more you're wanting a change you're looking for more communication you're just unfulfilled as it says unfulfilled expectations In May, you have Wisdom of Experience, so it's like you're making a wish. You have six of, uh, I'm going to say, I think that's wands or something, because it's fire, and it's a release, because you're blowing out all your air. I'm going to look up the book for that one, though, just for clarification as well. And seven in June, you're taking a stand. There is a bridge to be crossed here. And you're each holding on to this bridge to bridge the distance between you and someone else. But if either of you were to let go, that bridge would not exist anymore. Um... This relationship right now might be long distance. Maybe you need to overcome some sort of obstacle in the way and take a stand if you have a truth to speak. But you've definitely, you've bridged the distance between you guys. Um, but neither one is walking over. You know, you're both on the opposite ends holding the bridge. But no one's actually crossing over. Not, no one's on the same side. You're both on opposite ends of this bridge. So that could be a little concerning. We'll take a look at the what the book has to say too. In July, like I said, you had the Empress. So a lot of opportunities. Um... You could be starting something new or possibly for real pregnant. In August, you have Judgment, which is a major arcana card, putting the past to rest. So it's like you're climbing this mountain and perhaps you had some sort of judgments on a past situation that you're just forgiving and forgetting about and putting it to rest. In September, you have Eight of Coins, which is talent and skills, so perhaps you will be gaining some money from your talent and skills. It's very balanced and looks very happy card. And then in October, you have some unexpected help monetarily with the Six of Coin. In November, you're going to, again, have the change with challenges and problems with the Five of Swords. Perhaps to signify some problems with communication. Or just a challenge with communication. Um, but it is a sunny day, so even though this can be challenging... It's a bright card, so maybe this is something that's going to help you grow. It could also be um, some sort of truth with your emotions, as green as the chakra and the color of the mountain that you're climbing. In December, you have pause 
of observation. Oh my gosh, all these cards, okay. Okay, so this one came out first, then this one, and then this one. So you're, in December, you're giving pause and observation with the Nine of Wands. Perhaps reflecting on the year that you've had. We're almost done here. It's looking for Oracle card for August, September, October, November, and December. So to begin, your Oracle card for January was Easy Does It. Stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. So perhaps in trying to find some relationship bliss, you've been trying to like control all the outlying factors or um, you know who you're going to fall in love with. Just kind of relinquish, I'm sorry, relinquish control. And just let everything go naturally with the flow. Just like the dolphins, they're very intelligent. They're always eager to rush to everyone for help. Um, but they're very intelligent animals as well. So it seems like a very turbulent time. And, you know, just like dolphins can't control the tides of the ocean, right? They can only help. Um, so just take it easy. Go with the flow. In February, your oracle card says spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing power. So I'm going to read that um, message on the, the February oracle card. Um, I'm sorry, not Oracle, but for the tarot card for cash flow. Oops, wrong book. These lights are so bright in my eyes. Alright, so two coin, where are you? Okay. So, two of coins. One thing you know about money is that it's energy. It's an energy exchange. Sorry. What comes in often goes out, and what goes up can often come down. So, the good news is that the opposite applies, too. So, what this card is about is remembering that regardless of your financial situation right now, it will change. In the meantime, learning to spend, to save, to plan wisely is your spiritual assignment and one that may help you on your way to achieving your dreams. Watch what happens when you do. It's magical. Okay. And then the flower power card says this card signifies that you'll benefit from the balancing and healing properties of flowers. Spend time in a garden or even a florist shop and surround your home with fresh flowers. As you breathe in the fragrances, feel their magical healing abilities bathing every cell of your body. The fairies also suggest that you buy a bottle or two of pure flower essences, which are available at most health food stores. Use rose oil to open your heart to love, for instance, or sprinkle lavender on your pillows and sheets to calm your nerves. Additional meanings for this card could be use flower essences in your healing work with others, Study aromatherapy, make sachets or dried lavender eye pillows, plant a flower garden, and send a loved one some flowers. So, not exactly what I said, but I still, you know, go with what I said is that your money may be up in the air, or you could be fervently just tossing up coins and shopping and cash flow. Maybe you are the type of person that likes flowers around you and maybe you're spending a lot of money frivolously in February for flowers for all your friends and family and sharing, you know, some good thoughts with people, which is never a bad thing, you know, you're just sharing your love and your thoughts and who doesn't love flowers, right? 
We'll do March in just a second. I'm just going to concentrate on trying to get an Oracle card here for uh, October. There we go. November. Oh, there we go. And December. Okay. So, November and December. Alright, so now... In March, you have the opportunity card, right? A new career, which kind of makes sense because maybe you have a bunch of opportunities at hand to change career. Your oracle card is saying your work focus is shifting in a positive, new, and successful direction. So if you're not sure what choice to make, consult yourself. Um, let's see, seven of coin though. Okay, your investments haven't exactly paid off. In fact, you may have lost out on the wheel of fortune. That is financial investment. Would you like to know a secret? You're not alone. The greatest financial thinkers, the smartest business minds, the people who wield some of the greatest cores of material power in the world lose too. The difference is... That they know that losing is a lesson and that they will try again. You know, just like what is the price is right? Spin the wheel. Perhaps with more wisdom though, right? You may have had high hopes when you bought the lottery ticket. Or imagined that paying for something expensive would be far easier than it truly is. That's the lesson. How much do you really need? Do you have good health? Can you love and be loved? Then you are rich beyond words. But still, I'm going with what my own intuition said is that you're going to have many opportunities come your way financially. And if you're not sure which one to take, I think if you just consult yourself and really look into what you want, that you're going to find the direction that you want to go. You know, this is a circle too, so sometimes it's like you got to get off the wheel, get off the carousel, and go in a new direction. It may not be a path that's for everyone, but like this card says, your work focus is shifting. So that means not doing the same thing all the time, right? And it's a positive, new, and successful direction, so... This card also shows something that is, you know, coming from the divine, so you are being divinely guided in your question here to answer, so go with that. And then April, where you had the unfulfilled expectations, you have perfect timing, so this is the right time for you to move forward, so you have someone looking to move forward. And I think you will do that in love or communication. And then May, the wisdom of experience. So children, your connection with children is part of your life's purpose. So perhaps your wisdom of your own experience is going to help your children or maybe your friend's children. So definitely that clarification helped with that card. I said I was going to read this card and I will. So, Six of Wands, you've worked hard, haven't you? And isn't it great to feel like you've really learned something precious along the way? You're truly at a powerful stage now, though you're not wildly wealthy or running the nation. What you now can never, I'm sorry, what you now know can never be taken away from you. You've got a gold mine right between your ears and beating in every drop of your blood. Experience and energy and creativity. Creativity. That's a great combination. Invest them wisely. In June, you have this taking a stand. You've got the power. Use your abilities to resolve this situation, and you can do it. Now, this is what I'm talking about when I when I do these cards. I love how it just amazes me all the time. I don't plan this. You could see I was shuffling the cards on camera, but look at this. You have this bridge, right? And what is she walking on? This tightrope, right? And on one edge, you have this little, like, tittle mouse and a blade of grass balancing himself while she's balancing on this rope to get to the other side. So on one side, there's this tittle mouse, 
And on this side, there's butterflies and flowers, but there's nothing really holding this other side of the road, right? So in this card, there's no one walking this rope to get to the other side. But isn't it quite amazing that you get those two cards? When you look at those pictures, just take a moment and how does that resonate with you? You know, so in June, obviously this is about, to me it says some sort of relationship where you need to meet in the middle. <laughs> And your oracle card's even kind of like showing you that, like you need to walk, you need to actually walk this bridge. You can't just like hold it, like, okay, great. We're on two opposite sides here. You might be my twin soul or soulmate, whatever, twin flame, but no one's walking to meet each other on the other side. So what's the point? So you gotta take a stand and be like, hey, are we gonna meet in the middle here? Are we gonna come together? Or is this, are we just holding on to this bridge for naught? So you've got the power, take a stand, and either walk it or let go, I say, in June. Bridge that gap. Someone's got to come together here in your relationship, love, friendship, whatever it may be. July, you have an affirmation here, or affirmation, to lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire. So use positive affirmations. If you are looking for children, new beginnings, sensuality, my gosh, this could just mean so many different things, but obviously you are wishing for this sensuality and maybe a relationship. This is a very romantic card too, I think, um, very personal wishes, but definitely you want to lift up your vibration, your heart, your energy to the divine to attract what you are desiring so it can be yours in July. In August, it's saying ask for what you want. Let the universe and other people know what you need. So in your judgments to put this to rest, perhaps you weren't feeling, you know, satisfied. Here on the other side of the mountain that you're climbing, it's like you're just chilling out, resting, right? There's this person just resting on top of this climb. So there's always another side that you can you can keep climbing and struggling or you can just you can just chill. But in order to do that, you need to ask for what you want. You can't expect people to like keep climbing mountains for you not knowing what you want. So let the universe know and other people know what you need so that they can provide for you, right? And uh, don't judge so harshly. Maybe you were, you know, judging them because they weren't giving you what you needed. And you just expect them to know. Not everybody's a mind reader. So you gotta just tell them. September. So your talent and skills are going to bring, obviously, about some emotional type of healing in your heart. And again... You have this girl wearing green, right, with the heart chakra. And in the emotional healing, what's the biggest color? It's her heart chakra. She holds on to that. So you see these things. And then, like, the coins, like, make kind of like a halo of sun around her, right? And there's a sunny day. And it says, as your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings and love. So, perhaps doing something that you love, a hobby, a skill, is going to also bring about emotional healing, more confidence, more blessings financially. October, it says let go. As you surrender the need to control, your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires. So funny that both the girls on the right side are blonde. And then you had the red robin and the red-headed girl, or the pink-haired girl, rather. So you need to let go of maybe not wanting others to help you. And just like how unexpected a bird can land on the branch...
you're going to get some unexpected help. So, pretty straightforward there. November, be yourself. The situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. So in your challenges and problems of communication, just be yourself. In December, you're going to take pause and observation, and according to your oracle card, it's saying love life. So pause and observation in perhaps your love life here. The basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. So maybe something will happen in December, which is just going to give you pause to, you know, in the, where was it, um, ask for what you want. Over here in June, it kind of started, you know, like stand up, take a stand, but then it said, Like, let go, surrender, be yourself, ask for what you want. A lot of, I think, more control type things. And here, this is going to be probably just, like, you don't have to control everything. It's going to just give you pause, like, hmm, I don't have to fight so hard for what I want. I don't have to, like, bridges gap. It's just going to come naturally now, which is going to kind of give you pause for like, wow, why was I holding on so tightly to something that really just wasn't working or, you know, sometimes we love somebody so much that it's hard to let go. And then sometimes it's just so easy to love others, right? It just happens so naturally. It's just kind of like magical. And that's what you want. And it's going to this love, I think, is going to come into your life and just make you go, huh, okay, I get it now. Like, this is easy. And, yeah, kind of take your breath away and just give you some pause to observe, observe and not feel so like, oh, I got to do this or I got to plan that. It's just it's going to be so easy and natural. This, this person is just going to come into your life and be so interested in you. It's not going to feel like work, you know? It's just going to be what you wanted in January, this relationship bliss. So that's what I see in December. So good job. I hope that comes true for you. Let me know if it does. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much.